More Batman! Brrr. This game isn't as fun as Arkham City. But, I have beaten that point into the ground. I'm sure you're sick of hearing it, so... I'm gonna try and go the whole rest- Oh, God. Why would you do this? Why don't you just go around? Love you, too. What does that mean? Why do I care? Go away. As I was saying, I'm gonna try and go this whole video without negatively comparing this game to Arkham City. I'm gonna at least wait until we start doing the story stuff again before getting back on that, in fact. As long as you have to watch. God damn it. As long as you have to watch me running around the city like a loony, might as well not have to listen to me go complain and whine the whole the whole fucking time. Oh, Dad went in for his hernia. That's what he was saying. My dad's in the hospital for his hernia. I did not know that was today. I don't know why I needed to care that he's peeing. I don't know what a hernia is, so like, that might be relevant. Anyway. At least he didn't die. <laughs> that would have sucked getting the alert that he died, and I didn't even know he had gone in for that today. Blah blah blah. No one cares about your ambient chatter. Uh, nothing! That's exactly my point. But whatever. Okay, this sounds like something big, at least. Oh, it's just another gun deal. <sighs> the way she made that sound, it was like it was gonna be like a big, like, bank robbery or something, you know? Made it sound like it was a big deal. Two elbow drops in a row. Good choice. Okay, apparently you can go to these. I'm gonna go to the top of that skyscraper. That is my that is my mission in life. Why can't I grapple up there? I wanna go up there. Really? Wow. That is bad. Really? Oh, that is terrible! Holy shit, this game sucks! I cannot believe that that's what they're resorting to. The Rind is really strong, and that's why he can't go off the map. Really? Fuck you, game. I just resolved to be nice to you for a single video, and you could not let me do it. That's awful. Did you see that? Is it just me? Do I just have really high standards and that's not fair? Oh, the wind is too strong! Fuck you. I can't believe that they... that that really... Anyway. 
God damn! Who do they think they are? A journey? <laughs> I like journey. Hmm, can I stand on these? Yeah, I can. Cool. I'm gonna drop into the water to see what happens. I bet it's cold. Okay. I leveled up again. Let's get this shit out the way so I can get to the stuff I actually want to buy. Why are you forcing me to buy armor upgrades? Why are those the first... Th <sighs> I'm sure... Okay, positivity. I do like this new area. I do like this new section of the city. I do, it's, it's different in a good way. It's got a lot of taller buildings. We're getting there. Like I said, like it's laying the foundations of my ideal bat of my idea of an ideal Batman game. You know? I like it. I like it kind of it kind of this particular part of it, Diamond District. It, it it's like how uh like it's playing up the classism of the city. Like this is where all the rich people are. The Diamond District. It's like a little bit like Manhattan, you know? Like, this is the tourism section of the city. And we're getting to this new area. Which I assume is going to have a different kind of aesthetic to it. Like you do. Oh, come on, I expected you to hit me. Why? I don't like it. I don't like that they relegated things to the uh, triggers here. <laughs> to the triggers here. Where you hold down this trigger to ready the gadget. I don't like it. It feels like, you know, like that's what they did when they were porting uh, to the hey, PS3 a game that was on the 360. You know, like the original Bioshock does that. Like, oh, the like shooting the gun is with the triggers on the 360, so do it with R2 on this one. Even though, like, the aesthetic design of the PlayStation controller just makes it a lot more conducive to use L1 and R1, R1 R1 for those kind of things. And that was something that... I can't keep my promises. That was something that the first games did. They made it so... Detective Vision was this button, and readying the gadget was this button, because on the Xbox it was, you know, right bumper, ready Detective Vision, and left trigger, and right trigger, I'm, I'm getting my... You get what I'm saying, though. Or it's like, this isn't just, you know, an aesthetic difference that comes with having a different developer. This is like, tangibly of lower quality. This is like, not only... Like, putting aside this game, you just couldn't even figure out how to... how to do this! Like, on a basic level. Yes, 
on a basic level, you couldn't even figure out, you know, swap the buttons. Instead of having it be the trigger like it is on 360, have it be R1 because that's just more conducive to the way that this controller is designed. But they couldn't do it, they didn't do it, because they're bad at life, in general. You know, I could be wrong though. It could be that they just fucked it up in general, and on the 360, you hold down the right bumper to ready your gadgets, and the right, and the, the left bumper to ready your gadgets, and the left trigger to activate detective mode, which is just super weird. And they just, like, change the buttons for no reason just to be assholes to everyone involved. So it's either incompetence or douchebaggery. Actually, it's still incompetence, but it's malicious incompetence the other way. <sighs> okay, next video. I'm going to try to not negatively compare this game to Arkham City. Oh, the cops are being douchebags. Gotta fight the cops. Why would that pop up on the police radio? Why would the police radio report that the cops are being douchebags for no reason? What? Hey, I stunned him. I did. You saw me do it. There we go. Damn. Oh my g- what? Did you see that? He went through the gate. You're like Kitty Pride. That was magical. Thank you for sharing this superpower with me. I shall keep your secret. Fear not, good sir. You will not face any mutant prejudice while I am in town. <sighs> Next video, I'll try and be nice to this game. Unless it fucks up and gives me no reason to be nice to it. Which, so far, seems to be the pattern of things. Yeah, wow. It overrode the fucking villain being like, yo, go away. That's how bad the, you're an idiot here, let us tell you what to do trigger is. I don't like this game. Why am I playing this game? I'm not even to the story yet. Hey, graffiti artists. Why didn't you just run away? Why did you try and fight me? <sighs> okay, you know what? Like, exploring the city is kind of making me depressed because this game's not as good as Arkham City. So maybe I should just go do the story mission. Because I'm not really getting anything out of this. I'm just experiencing things and going like... I wish this was made by Rocksteady. I miss Rocksteady. Their game was so good. Their games... Their two games... I should explore this area though, I haven't been there yet. Uh... 
I will say I appreciate. There was a kitty, and he wanted to pet him! I can't beat these guys up now. He wanted to pet a cat. He's not a bad guy. He likes cats. I will let you ones live. I saw a cat. I want to pet him. <laughs> I think that's like a universe. If, unless you're like a stupid evil douchebag who hates cats, and in which case you're like inhuman, have no soul, and I have no respect for your life. I think that's like a universal human desire. Like, I saw a cat! I want to pet the cat. That cat exists in my general vicinity, and I must pet them. Why and how do cats manage to have this spell over us? I don't know. I don't care. Cats are great. And I will gladly give in to the petting. Hey, that freak's on our turf. Really? He's on our turf. That's your excuse? This city deserves a better class of criminal. Oh, here's the GCPD. This is where all the cops hang out. Could I take this opportunity to go fight the cops for no reason? Nah. Not yet. Okay, again, what is this thing? Oh, yep, I need a gadget that I don't have to use those. What are the odds? The bats here. What are the odds, really? You guys are idiots. To be fair, these guys are actually here, like, for the Riddler being like, yo, Stan guard. So these guys, I will give a pass on this. Now how do I get in here? Okay, these guys are trying to break in, so, you know what, boop.
how do you get in this building? Oh, there it is. Right? Hello. It's hard to explain when you're not playing it, and it's hard to explain unless you've also played Arkham City. This game is just not as well made as those games. And it's weird to describe how, but the kinesthetics are just noticeably inferior. I do not feel as capable and able to traverse this city in this game as I did in those games. I know that's a weird, nebulous complaint that seems like I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining, but y you can feel it. And it's just... I know this is a prequel, but it shouldn't actually be not as good. You know? Like, it was made after those games, why is it worse? You know? A sequel should add things, not take them away. A sequel should be more refined and smoother in experience, not less of one. Not less polished than the games that came before it. And it is. Like, you can feel it. At least in regards to just wandering the city. I mean, like, the actual conflict resolution part of the gameplay, like the fighting here, it's relatively intact. It's enough that I can't really tell the difference. It's not improved, but it's just as good. Just as fun. Okay, fuck it. I can't get into that place yet for some reason, so I'm just gonna go to this side quest location. And then we'll go on and do the story because I'm getting sick of this. Yep, straight from city. Yep. I can't do it. I can't go five minutes in this game without going really, really just stealing it from city, but worse. Great. Awesome. Ridiculous. Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? What's this about? Zionists hire you to throw me off his trail. Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignation. 
You know, this just raises the question, why did he change his name? If he was already the Enigma, why did he change to the Riddler? It makes no sense, there's no reason for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Break this first. Oh! I figured you'd try and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You've lost Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. <laughs> with everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Oh. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Okay. So this is just a legit straight up ripoff of the way the Riddler side quest worked in Arkham City. Call me naive, but I thought it would be different. Whatever. <sighs> Playing this game makes me feel tired. Playing this game makes me feel so tired. I'm running out of time. I should head for Jessica. Shut up. The whole force is going to be at the door. Tell me where you hid the extortion data. I'll tell you where it's at, but it won't do you much good. I'll be back on my feet in an hour coming for you. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> Whatever. No, uh, but man, I'm hungry. Maybe if I fill my belly with some delicious foodies, I'll be in a better mood to deal with this game and try, try to give it the benefit of the doubt. Give it a chance, you know, because. Even I feel like I'm being a little unfair. <sighs> it's just whenever I feel that way, the game immediately gives me reason to go, Nope, totally justified. So you know what? After this... I'm gonna take a bit to cleanse, to fill up on some food, and come back with a fresh attitude. Look, I, I don't want any trouble. Please, don't. Have should have thought of that before you signed up to work for Enigma. Where's the blackmail information you collected for him? Okay, okay. Please. Seriously, like, this game's going like, oh, he used to go by Enigma. Why'd he change his name then? This is stupid. 
Okay, one more fight, then I'm gonna end this video. There we go. <laughs> In fact, uh, uh, how do you zoom out? Oh, okay. Let's go back to the Bat Cave for a little bit. And we'll pick back up from there. I might do some combat challenges, like the VR training missions. That might take a little bit of the edge off, since it'll be nothing but pure, just pure game play. Pure stealth, pure combat. None of the other trappings I've been dealing with so far that have filled me with nothing but complaints. So that might be a good way to get me back into a good mood. Do let me know if you require anything, sir. Got anything new to say? Sir, a moment of your time. What do you want? Mm. There's something about this Enigma fellow that doesn't sit right with me. Their teeth look Unfettered weird. Access to resources and extensive networks spread across the city. Whoever he is, the man has connections and capital. We can use Look at his teeth. They are so perfect. They're pure white. Using lots of power, we could track him. Perhaps, but he's also clearly a technical wizard. He's likely covered his tracks. Keep searching. He only has to slip up once to give us an opening. Certainly, sir. Oh, you won't believe this. What's wrong? The GCPD have actually asked me to stop calling in so often. Apparently, you're taking down criminals faster than they can be processed. And you wonder why I don't have faith in the cops. Well, to be fair, sir, you have been on a mission tonight. Has Alfred really been calling the cops and telling them, Hey, Batman just beat up some dudes, go there and clean up? Like, really? Like, that's a cute justification for, like... Batman's beating him up, and then, like, he just leaves. They're gonna get up later. Like, it, it explains that Alfred's calling the police and going... And they're going to go collect them so they aren't in trouble. But... Really? Like, that reminds me of, like, in the Silver Age. When Peter Parker would go around going, like, I'm friends with Spider-Man. He lets me take pictures of him. And no one figured out that, like, oh, you're fucking Spider-Man. Like, are they really thinking, like, oh, he's just friends with Batman? Really? Like, they're not putting the pieces together and going, like, maybe Bruce Wayne's fucking Batman. I mean, to be fair, Batman's still, like, a myth and a legend at this point, but that's still a little bit, like, okay, how do you know that? How do you know? Fucking. Seems to me that's that cute. The one but, like, really? Anyway. Okay. Ending it here, gonna take a break, get some food, try and come back with a better attitude, because even I'm starting to annoy myself here. So, next time.